you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wave those hands once again to Jehovah. Wave those hands once again to Jehovah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Pastor, you know what? Sorry if I call Bishop Pastor. Excusez-moi si je l'appelle Pastor. I see two story building Je vois deux before you. Vous. Two story buildings deux before you. Vous. If you don't have a property, si vous pas de property either for yourself or for the church soit pour vous, soit pour before this year heaven is prepared Le ciel est prêt. To give you properties. And they will happen almost simultaneously. It's not a bungalow. Two story buildings. Je dis bien un immeuble, deux immeubles. One story building. Un immeuble. I mean, a, one two-story building, another two-story building. Un immeuble, deux étages, un immeuble, deux étages. Mama. Maman. The Lord said, In fact, that becomes your name after this pronouncement. En fait, ça devient vos noms, vos noms après cette prononciation. I see gold Je all around you. I see gold all around you. And the Lord, I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what meant this? Gold in our today's language is called money. I see money all around your wife. Money. 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 Money coming to your hands like never before. In the name of the resurrected Jesus. Wave your hands to the Lord. Now watch this. This church. Better World Outreach Senegal. La mission internationale Better Mondial. Is true. International. Listen to the word. It's too international. To be here. You didn't hear me. It's too international. You didn't understand what I'm saying. It's not the wish of any man. But it's the program and the will of God. This church in Senegal, it's international. Say it the law. And it's too limited to be here. Anima halabo zute hekalia. From this anniversary of this year, à partir de cet anniversaire de cette année, the part that we take this church to where she rightfully belongs to, la partie qui va mener cette église là où elle appartient véritablement, away from this geographical location, de cette localisation géographique, to where suits are, de là où elle elle est supposée, is hereby released in the name of Jesus. And the people les peu, les gens et les gens. from within and from without who will bring it about Qui vont tout autour. with delight Avec désir. with ease Avec with persuasion that cannot be arrested I hereby release in the name of Jesus Sole <laughs> Katani Wave your hands to Jehovah and give him praise and give him glory and give him honor. 
Please be seated for a while. Be seated. Mark Gospel. Chapter number nine. Reading from verses 14 downward. Mark 9. Mark 9. From verses 14 downward. I'm going to be a little bit fast, so interpreter, you've got to be fast with me. Thank you. Mark 9 from verses 14 downward. Mark 9 from verses 14. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them. He saw a great multitude around them. And scribes disputing with them. Et des qui avec eux. Immediately, when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed. And running to him, Et accouru, greeted him pour le saluer. and asked the scribes, Et les demandaient, What are you discussing with them? De quoi then one of the crowd answered and said, Alors, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a moot spirit and whenever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. He answered him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him. And when they saw him, immediately, the spirit convulsed him. And they fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So he asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? He said, from childhood, and often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible. So him who believes immediately, the father of the cry of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Ladies and gentlemen, for a take off for this great conference and anniversary, I'll be ministering tonight on what I titled I need help. I need help. Somebody say loud and clear. Say it again. Say it for the third time. I need help. What is help? This is what I want to say and how I want to define what is help. It's an experience. An understanding. Knowledge. Wisdom. Information. You ought to have, que tu dois avoir, but you lack. Mais donc tu what is help? I like to repeat again. Je An experience, Une experience. information, Une information. understanding, Une knowledge, Une wisdom. Une you ought to have, que tu dois avoir. but you lack. Mais donc tu en you don't have, tu ne pas. but another has. Mais une that you need. Don't you have mm. It is the person's choice le choix de cette to give you de te la or not to give you. Ne le pas faire. Mm. 
beginning from today, help will not be refused you again. You know there are some people who have info an information. And he or she or they may just choose to keep it away from you. Every breakthrough that a leader or an entrepreneur have in this life I mean has in this life is traceable to a knowledge and information and understanding that is given to him that he has access to tell me anything that you have today if you cast your mind back and think properly well I have just introduced one to you now how I met Bishop Charles Victor Okafor somebody said in the person of our number man, our number one man in the world of Bethel, what Bishop Johnson Darlington. Bishop Johnson Darlington. All the way from America. There is somebody you look alike. You need to meet him. He's one of my pastors. That was sometime 2009. Ten years later, I am on the soil of Senegal because somewhere somebody chose to graciously connect me to somebody and the person chose sometime last year in the month of October I was in America 2018 Apostle This is Bishop Charles Okafo From Senegal I want you to be our guest speaker next year 2019 In the month of March and this is my first time of coming to Senegal. You see the connectivity. Beginning from now. Who has information that will lead to the possession of what you are looking for in life? I hereby release you to meet with him. Let there be a meeting together. Who should tell you something? In fact, most of the marriages that we have today, permit me to say, that are successful. If you check and look at it properly well. Majority of the times, somebody invited you to somewhere. <laughs> somebody mentioned somebody's name. How good. How well behaved. How decent. How skillful. How anointed. How handsome. How beautiful. How worthy. How rich. From a good background. That person came from. And your heart picked it up. Your ears had it. Your mind was made up. And you went to the place. Or you went after the person. Lo and behold, today you are married. And you are still married. And you are successful. And you are happy. And you are happy. Am I talking to somebody? 
In the same way, everyone that is hearing me tonight, if you are single, beginning from this day, I have told you that tonight is an opening night. I will do hear a little prophetic. I will do hear a little apostolic. I will do hear a little teaching. I will do hear a little evangelist. I will do hear a little pastoral. Is that okay? But all together, it will work for your good. Lift your hands up and shout hallelujah. Carry up yourself up and shout hallelujah. Carry up yourself up and shout hallelujah. Carry up yourself up and shout hallelujah. Do you know that in the book of Psalm? When David was speaking and cursing a man who did him the most harm in this life, one of the curses he placed, he said, let no man help him. Whatever is such a cause that have been placed upon your life. The curse of let no man help him. How do you know that you are a victim of this curse? Of let no man help him. I want to quickly bring this up for you to you know, take cognizance of. After God created man, God was the first person who introduced us to this thing called Ed. To the phenomenon of help. And to the person of helper. After he created man, the next thing God saw is that this man cannot live successfully on earth without help or helper. So life without help or helper is no lie. We'll be totally frustrated. We'll be poor. We'll be limited. We'll be full of anguish. We'll be full of affliction. We'll be full of sorrow. Tell me a man who is happy. He has an helper or has helpers. Tell me a pastor who is fulfilled. Since yesterday that we arrived, sorry, early in the morning, around 2 o'clock that we arrived Senegal, I have been seeing your pastor and his wife, Bishop and his wife, almost all the time with his troop with him. The Bible said there are the things I have seen on us that has peace. In the book of Proverbs. He said there are these things that I have seen on us that has speed. Peace. One of the things he mentioned is a king that has his troop with him. Is a king. So if your life will have speed, since the beginning of this year, I make no exaggeration to tell you like never before my life, my ministry, my family, even my wife, and our job. We have been experiencing speed, speed, pace, speed, speed, speed. What takes a year is taking just one hour to accomplish. What takes 10 years is taking a month or some months to accomplish. 
and we are still very much in the new year. This is just the third month. But even as of today, without any exaggeration, before God and his saints, on this holy altar, if I am to score myself Mark, of the things I want to do this year, even as of now, I will almost be scoring myself. You know, when you score 40, those of you who are teachers here, in an exam, I think it's a pass mark. Hello? 